I went to Colombia to figure out which business sells the best faja. My family and I went to multiple faja vendors within Medellin. Stay tuned to the end to see which one gives you the most bang for your buck. You can see it from the front until you see it from the back. This was the outfit I wore to go vendor shopping. If you intend on trying on the items, I suggest you wear something more tight fitted so that the garments can slip right over your clothing. My mom was the one trying on everything so I didn't need to dress for the occasion. Before we headed out, we stopped at this really cute restaurant for breakfast because you definitely have a long day ahead of you because these vendors are so hard to find. Then we finally made it to the first vendor, Fajitex. They are located in Central Commercial Japon. It's a very crowded flea market area in Medellin. Their Instagram is at Fajitex, F-A-J-I-T-E-X. They have a wide selection of Faja and post-op wear, but they are very hard to find, extremely hard to find. It took us over an hour just to find this one vendor because the area is so populated. So we're shopping for Fajas, but they don't have the type that I need. They allowed you to try on different post-op wear over your clothing over the counter, but there was such a language barrier. I had to pay for this translation app. They couldn't even understand hello in English, and I couldn't understand anything that they were saying either. So we had to go back and forth about pricing and what products they have, but they ended up not having what we were looking for, so we went to the next stop. This particular area in Medellin has different restaurants and malls and stores, so we just walked up and down looking for more Faja vendors. Right now, we're gonna meet back up with my mom to go look for Fajas. So now I think we're gonna walk back to the place and then we're gonna see how that goes. We did a little bit of miscellaneous shopping for sneakers and clothes, cause this mall, this shopping center was just so big. We also ate some street food and then we ended up at Piel de Angel, the second location for Fajas. This business is located on 49th Street in Medellin, right outside of the Flea Market Mall. Their Instagram is at Fajas Piel de Angel. This was a very lovely, beautiful, elegant store layout. The outside of the store was a little bit sketchy. I was warned multiple times by random strangers to put my phone and my camera away and walk with my bag in front of me. As soon as you enter the store, it looks like you're in a whole new world. This particular business compared to others did a lovely job with displaying their products within the store. Looking for Fajas that have four hooks with the straps and has no compression in the butt part for the BBLs. That lady followed us all the way in the store to try to get us to buy stuff from her cart outside the store. This is insane. She literally stood right there the entire time. The old lady out there. Yes, and I'm like, this particular vendor also allows you to try on the products before you buy. My mom was trying on this corset that is supposed to shrink your waist. She intended on trying on a Faja, but they didn't have the particular one that she came for. And as you can tell, this corset required multiple people to help put it on. No joke. This reduces five centimeters off your waist. I can definitely say I see a difference and I would say this particular vendor has high quality products. You can negotiate your prices with them at the end, but like I said before, a lot of these vendors don't speak English, so we had to go back and forth with Spanish to English translation apps. And after that, we were on to vendor number three, Do Re Mi, located in the El Hueco Central Commercial Flea Market Mall. Their Instagram is at Do Re Mi Fajas. They are located on the third floor of this particular flea market and it's in the same flea market as the first vendor, Fajitex. This particular vendor is unique from the others because they offer alterations. As you can see, they have little sewing machines in the back and they can alter the clothes to your liking. So I would say that's a plus and they are vendor number 391 on the third floor. This is what the outside looks like by their shop. If you're familiar with the area, you'll be able to pinpoint where they're located. This particular vendor isn't as tech savvy as the others, so your best bet would be meeting them in person. Right now we are at 
the oh it's something mall i'm gonna show you guys the name when i figure it out we ended up going to the el tesoro parque commercial mall to see fajate they're located at the first floor of this mall and their instagram is at fajate colombia we didn't stay in there very long because their prices are far above any of the other vendors mentioned in this video for little to no difference in quality of their product. Overall, when comparing these four vendors, I had to come to a conclusion on which one I would recommend. These Faja vendors are all extremely hard to find, especially the ones in the vendor's flea market. There are thousands of vendors that you have to search through before you find one. The easiest to find was the one in the mall, but that one doesn't have the best quality and value for price. I would rank PLD Angel as the overall winner and vendor I would most likely recommend to someone in terms of location, price, customer service, and quality. If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me what would you do if I told you you were beautiful? Would you date me?